that took forever to focus. <laughs> okay, so before I start this video, I'm so sorry for the audio, but because of what this video is and the fact that I don't have an actual mic, I use my phone for my mic, but I need my phone for this video. So sorry for the bad audio, but just, just you gotta just deal with it for like however long this video is. This video, usually people do it when they actually have like a whole bunch of people who look at their Instagram photos and you know, get a high number of likes <laughs> but I really I'm like I don't know when it comes to just anything when I post something I don't like why you can like see but today I was gonna do uh how I edit my Instagram photos got my phone right here with this lovely case I love this case man I would never give it up but usually people do this type of video when they have a whole bunch of followers I guess you could say and a whole bunch of likes and then people ask them questions so how do you edit this how do you edit that but I just want to do this video because it's a video it's kind of a filler not that I don't care for the videos I'm doing now because trust me I get as happy as a baby on Christmas when I ever record something, actually edit it and actually post it because I'm like Dan Howell when it comes to videos. If I make something and I don't like something about it, I will not post it. Not even because of people's opinions, because so what, people's opinions, people are gonna have opinions on things. But if I personally don't like a video, I'm not gonna post it, so yeah. That really has been the main reason why I can't stick to my schedule of uploading once a week. Right now, at this point in time, a lot of my videos are becoming fillers for what I actually want to be posting. Like I said in my last video, filming a little music video for my little, my little, song that I put out, SoundCloud, go check it out, thanks. I haven't quite, you know, <laughs> let's get back to what this video is supposed to be about. But today, because I've been talking for like a full five minutes, I'm going to do a how I edit my Instagram photos. Bombarded with BTS as soon as we start recording. But this is my phone, yes, Rexham Orange County, I know. I guess we should use a photo that I should take now. I'm not going to actually post it because once again, for myself and my liking, because I'm weird, I don't know, it doesn't bother me when people have their opinions about me, but it bothers me when I have an opinion about myself. <laughs> like, I posted a photo four days ago. The me that I know, like this caption literally says, I don't care if I post it earlier, I like this photo. I don't care if I post um, a whole bunch of photos in one day, but it will bother me if I post a whole bunch of photos one day, post a whole bunch of photos the next day, and then the next day, and then the next day. So I try not to do that because it bothers me. Yeah, that's my Instagram. Now let's go to the photos. Actually, let's not use a photo from here. Let's use a photo that I took. I have a lot of photos, forgive me. And then some of them are BTS. And then some of them are my cousins. Oop, look at that. <laughs> Sorry, I do a lot of tapping. You'll notice that I kind of go back and forth in between my apps when I could just, you know, do it the easy way instead of being complicated. But first, I go into Lightroom, Adobe Photoshop, Lightroom CC. And then I take the photo. Okay, let's take this one. Now what I first do is I go into the color, go to mix, and then I just up the saturation on all the colors in the photo. Usually I bring it to like 50 or something. So I'm just gonna get the yeah, bring it to 30, 30, 30, And I just kind of do all the colors. Even if some of the colors don't seem like they're in the photo, just do it. <laughs> 10, 30, yeah. the purple. Wait, the yes. 22. All right, and then I will go to light and I just mess around with the shadows and the highlights and all that stuff Because I don't perfectly know what I'm doing when I edit my photos. So I just test it around, you know I've been testing around this app for like a whole year. So I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I go to highlights I up the Highlights I guess 29. We're fine with that. The shadows usually I bring the shadows down more unless the, sh the Usually I bring the shadows down more unless the photo itself is dark then I bring the shadows up and then for the whites I'll bring the whites up to make you know things not look like they are yellow and then I'll bring the blacks down because it darkens the black colors in the photo and yeah so now we have our base what we want to start with before we get into if we're gonna do an extravagant edit or if we're just gonna do that most of the time I just do that and lately I've been getting more into 
you know, adding some extra spice to my photos. Do we want to do anything else? Sometimes I'll sharpen it more. So we brought that to 52. Every now and then I'll add grain, but I don't remember if it's on this app or another because I use too many apps sometimes to really remember. And I'll save this. Save to camera roll, maximum available. If I wanna do like grain type stuff to it, I'll go to Afterlight or I'll go to Analog Film. But I hate to tell you that I think I paid for Afterlight and I definitely paid for Analog Film, but it was only a dollar. So it wasn't too much, even though, you know, my past self would have been like, why are you spending a dollar on that? <laughs> too late now, already bought it. <laughs> So then I'll go to PixArt sometimes, lately I've been going to PixArt and then I'll take to photo. And then if I wanna do like the thing where you like, let's go back to my Instagram. If I wanna do, like if I wanna do something like how I did here on this photo, then I just go to, I just go to add photo. Then you just press that photo again and you add it and then make it bigger if you want. Shoot, you can even do something like that. Look at that. I would have gone with that. I don't know how I feel about it though. <laughs> Keep getting distracted. I don't know what it is. When I film YouTube videos, I get distracted by too many things. Even though usually I'm the only one in the house when I do record. And the only thing that is loud is my voice. I will make it as big as I want. I don't really know. Sometimes I don't. I've just only been getting into doing this, what I'm doing right now. I just messed it up. <laughs> I was playing around. So usually I'll make it medium size. I'll crop it so that say I only want my lips in or something like that, like in the jaw area. Now I'll press apply, make it smaller. Then you could like, I don't know, put it wherever you want. I honestly feel like it doesn't fit for this photo, but I'm just showing you guys like how I do that if I do do it. So yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't leave it there, but for the sake of showing you guys what I literally just said, because I keep repeating myself, that process of doing that, just, you know, use PixArt. Now I'm gonna show you what I do if I wanna add some grain to it. You can either go to RNI Films, Kala, if that's how you say it, I don't really know, Afterlight or Analog Film. I don't remember if RNI Films was paid for or not. Sorry if it is. <laughs> I'll go to analog film and then I'll press this to go to the photo. Why does that look like the dull one? You see a difference, right? It's not just me. Is my phone acting up right now? It looks light there. Why does it look like I didn't edit it? <laughs> there is a difference in that. You see that? It's not just me. It's messing with my photo. Anyways, let's just continue. I usually go to like number six and then I bring it down a lot depending on the photo. I took photos this day, I, they are up. These ones that I took, I used uh, analog film. I used Soul 6. Oh, and just to specify, there are different versions of analog film that you could use, but you have to pay a dollar for each of them. I don't know why, it should just come in a pack. If anything, it'd be five dollars for the pack. There are like 10 different versions to analog film. I used the Soul one, but because this one has some nice filters on it. I'll bring it down to 30. I think 30 looks fine. Usually I don't really use the other ones. I'll use six and then I just bring it down to 30. And then you can have the option of going in and adding grain and scratchiness and all that stuff to it. So, you know, boost that grain up, I guess. A grain of 50 looks good, looks good. It's loading. And then if I really want to, no saturation, I don't even know what I'm doing. I'll add marks and stuff like this. I don't do this all the time because I feel like it doesn't make the photo look old. I think it just looks like you're doing a bit too much on the photo sometimes. So usually I don't do that. If anything, I just keep the grain how it is. If it's just the grain, sharpening things is my favorite thing to do. And so far, I'm liking the way this photo is coming out. So we're going to save it. Then I'll go to Unum, free, don't worry. And then I'll see what photos I wanna add next. As you can see, I already have, well, just ignore this photo. So let's just do that. As you can see, I already have one photo that I'm waiting to post at some point. And it lets you set reminders too, to like let you post a photo at a certain time. And it also gives you the stats of how your last posts are doing and your top posts and your best times to post and also your best hashtags the hashtags that get you more attention but you could also just use the the feature that you get on instagram if you choose to be a business account i only chose to be a business account because like because 
like when I start the fact that I'm making music, you know, put it out there. So that's the only reason why I have a business account. It wasn't a business account for the longest, even though I didn't even have Instagram for a long time. I wasn't allowed. So yeah, it tells you and you know, comments are low. I care more for comments on my posts sometimes. It's not even if somebody comments like, oh, that photo is so cute, you look so cute or something like that. I don't know. I care more for comments than likes. And that's how I feel about YouTube. I care more for comments than likes on YouTube. It's just a weird thing that I have. I don't know. But yeah, it tells you the certain times that you can post best. Oh, see, I don't ever understand why I pressed this. I think they're telling me here. My best times, so far, look what it looks like. My best times to post are around 4 p.m. and then also 11 p.m. Which is crazy. I don't really post around 11 p.m. a lot. See, you, I guess, yeah, you can move your photos. Now press add, so I see if I want to like add that photo. Since I've like a lot of my photos right now that I'm looking at are currently like bright, saturated, colorful, not super colorful, but it has similar colors. Even though I stopped the theme of doing three photos at a time, looks like I still have a theme of like, I don't even know. I don't even know. So I wouldn't preferably go with the photo that has gray and stuff right now. So I just move this photo over and see those could be the next two photos that I post. And then eventually, if I can convince myself that that looks good, I'll post this photo, let's say, since it's Thursday for me, I'll say I'll post this photo around Saturday at 4 p.m. since that happen be, happens to be my best time to post photos. And I post the next one, maybe the next day, if anything. I kinda wanna post like right now, but yes. That is how I edit my Instagram photos. Nothing too complicated, except for the fact that you do have to pay for Analog Film Soul, and I think you have to pay for RNI Films. I don't remember. But before I spend my money on any apps or just anything in general, I always do my research to find out if it really is good if I am gonna use it. So far, I've been using those apps that I pay for. Even with clothes, if I, for say, find this shirt on Garage, which is where this shirt is from, and it's like $20 or something, and then I find it on another website for $10, $15, I'll go for that one more. So, don't just go buying random apps, I guess you can say. Man, this really is a different candle from the last candle that you saw. I think because I'm more tired right now. But yeah. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out my song SoundCloud. I hate plugging stuff because you realize I never really plug anything at the end of my videos. I'm just like, all right, have a nice day. Bye. But yeah, could you be a doll? Could, could you be a doll and, you know, check out my song on SoundCloud. I'm trying to get more into music. It's really hard when you don't know how to work GarageBand well and also when you don't think your voice is the best. So yeah. <laughs> watch some old videos. Not old. Don't watch the old ones. Don't do that. <laughs> Check out my latest videos. See if you like them. See if you like me. Maybe press subscribe. Maybe you want to stay for next week's video. If there is a next week's one. I'm not promising that there's going to be a next week's one. This is like a miracle right now that I have two videos on deck. But who's to say I'm going to post those? But yeah. I guess. Yeah. Okay. Alright. I have nothing else to say. <laughs> Goodbye.